I remember my bully ended up grabbing me by my pants and ended up pulling my pants down. And I am not joking. My bully ended up saying, oh my goodness, wait, it's actually pretty big. And I stood there frozen. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing story. So today's story all starts off back when I was in high school and this was my grade nine year. Now, grade nine is when I kind of just started really getting into the realm of meeting women and basically trying to pull girls. But obviously with all good goals that come to life there's always got to be a hater or a bully that tries to stop you and one thing i will say well i had a bully back when i was in high school and let's just say she was not the best yes i know it's weird to say that a guy had a bully that was a girl but at the same time i'm not gonna lie to you back when i was in grade nine this bully that i had was in grade 11 and she i guess in some way had a lot more influence in the school than i did but i remember there was one time specifically where i was basically just walking down the school hallway and there was a girl in my grade nine year that i actually kind of liked I I didn't really have like a full-on crush on her but i thought she was attractive i thought this one day when i was walking down the school hallway that since i saw her by her locker i could just walk up to her and kind of just strike a conversation but out of nowhere as i start walking towards her direction i ended up getting pushed on the ground by a girl i remember she ended up pushing me saying oh my goodness another grade nine student that doesn't know how to walk watch where you're going understand uh yeah uh, sorry about that is what I said. And I remember the girl that I was attracted to ended up seeing this whole thing happen. And I got so embarrassed to walk up to her afterwards that I ended up walking away. Obviously at that moment, I didn't really know why this girl was so mean to me that I ended up bumping into, or technically she pushed me, but honestly, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it until I remember later on that same school day out of nowhere. I remember I was in the lineup for the school cafeteria and I just wanted to get the Mac and cheese that they were serving because the Mac and cheese at the school was so good good and i remember as i was lining up for it out of nowhere i ended up seeing that there was one left so me reaching up to grab it i remember this girl that was like in grade 11 that was a bully to me ended up walking up to me and basically pushing me to the side and grabbing the last mac and cheese she looked at me and said sorry did you want this well too bad it's the last one and she ended up walking away not even paying for the food i remember i was about to walk away but then afterwards the lady that was at the cashier for the school cafeteria ended up making me have to pay for her food so in a way, she basically took my lunch money. I remember at that point, I was so upset and I ended up basically walking up to her because obviously I'm not going to let some girl just pick on me like that. And when I walked up to her and said, hey, you owe me five bucks for the food. Excuse me. You're telling me to pay you. Are you serious? I am a woman of this generation and you're asking me to give you money. Why? Is it because you're a guy? At that point, I remember a lot of people in the cafeteria started looking and I felt embarrassed. At that moment, I remember I decided to just walk away and basically not interact with her again. Because, well, I don't know, when a lot of eyes are on you, it gets really nerve wracking. But I remember basically I ended up running out of there and I ended up just hanging out with some of my friends that were in my science class at the time. And me, I started just talking to them and basically like telling them about this girl that was such a bully to me. I remember one of my friends ended up saying, bro, I would do something, but I'm not going to lie to you. Like, she's a girl, bro. Like, you can't hit girls. Like, it just doesn't make sense. And at that point, I didn't know why this girl hated me so much. Like, it just never understood or made sense to me until I remember Friday came around and Friday. Friday, I remember we were doing this thing called the Terry Fox run, where basically you're supposed to like run for like a certain amount of time around the school to show respect for the person that ran across Canada. Kind of insane, by the way, like what kind of guy wants to run across Canada? Like there's so many places you could run across. Like you could run across the Pacific Ocean. You could run across the Great Wall of China. Like why Canada specifically? I really have no idea why, but basically I remember that same day everyone got to school and for our third period, we all had to meet up in the school and basically get ready to do the run. I remember I ended up seeing a lot of students like basically compiled into this gym and there was like so many of us and basically like everyone got like really close together where I'm not gonna lie to you it felt really hard to breathe and one thing led to another I remember as I'm like trying to like get through the wave of people I ended up seeing the girl that was my bully I remember I tried avoiding her but then out of nowhere she ended up walking up to me and she ended up basically like kind of like bumping into me on purpose saying oh sorry I didn't see you there little guy what's your problem excuse me like no what is your problem with me like I don't understand understand nothing quit being such a small eggplant you weirdo and she ended up walking away at this point i was super annoyed and i just didn't understand why and i guess from all that anger that was built up in me i decided to waste it by basically doing this marathon and basically just let my anger out by running i remember when we all met in front of the school we all basically lined up and we all started running and when we started running i am not joking i ran my heart out the amount of anger that this girl put me through i am not joking just really upset me and me i started sprinting 
I started running as fast as I could. And I'm not going to lie to you. I caught a lot of people's attention. Like, for example, my teachers kept cheering me on. It got to a point where actually the school photographer ended up taking a photo of me to put into the yearbook later on that year. The amount of effort I did doing that run really amazed a lot of people until I remember when it got towards the end of the run and everyone at the school was just finishing the whole event. Basically, I remember a lot of people started walking up to me. Teachers started walking up to me, basically telling me that I did a good job. But then afterwards, the one person I did not want to see ended up walking up to me. It was the girl that was my bully. She walked up to me and said, hey, I saw you running out there. Not bad for a little guy. Thanks, is what I told her. And then afterwards, I remember I basically decided to just walk away from her because I did not want to build up any more anger from this girl. But then afterwards, she ended up walking beside me and says, hey, don't walk away from me. I get you have a small eggplant, but you don't got to be weird. My eggplant isn't small. Stop talking about me, is what I said back. And what this girl ended up doing was she ended up grabbing my pants and pulling it down out of nowhere in front of everyone she pulled it down and i remember she looked at me and said omg wait a second it's actually really big bubba you packing and at that moment i was so embarrassed and i did not know what to say to the point where i ended up pulling on my pants and i actually sprinted with all the anger that i got built up again back to the school and i ended up hiding in the school locker room as i was in the locker room i just basically sat down in there and i'm not gonna lie i actually started tearing up a bit until out of nowhere i want to say 10 minutes later of just me sitting on my phone after a while just trying to distract myself from what just happened and avoid anyone that saw what happened. I ended up hearing the door for the gym locker room open. I basically heard it open and out of nowhere, I ended up seeing that this grade 11 girl that was literally the biggest bully I ever had to deal with probably ended up walking up to me saying, hey, Bubba, I just want to say like, I'm sorry if I really like picked on you. I'm sorry. Like I just thought you were like one of those like weird, like want to be cool grade nine kids. Like I, I really didn't mean any of it. Are you just saying that because a teacher told you to say that is what I said afterwards. And then she sat down beside me and well, she actually ended up making out with me. My bully ended up making out with me out of nowhere. And I'm not going to lie to you. One thing led to another. She ended up telling me my ear. So like, I was wondering, can I see it again? And well, I'm not going to say anything else other than, yeah, me and her, we ended up doing the devil's tango in the school locker room. Kind of crazy, but at the same time, hey, what can I say? I guess I had the ultimate Riz. No, it, it, it wasn't Riz. In reality, it was actually just a really embarrassing experience. But if you guys watched all the way to the end, then just fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.